Hi guys, welcome back to Harrow Makes Up. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be creating a makeup look inspired by the HBO show Euphoria. I love that show and I know loads of you guys did as well. It definitely had a massive impact on me. Um, I spoke about it a little bit over on my Instagram. There's a post I'll show on the screen here where you can read more over there. Um, my lovely friend Kristen is modelling for me again. I'll pop her Instagram on the screen here so definitely go follow her. And the show for me just really stoked the fire again, reminding me how much I love makeup, how much it is escapism, it's creativity, it's expression of self. And the best thing is you can take it off at the end of the day or sleep in it if you're in euphoria, which they do a lot, which I kind of enjoy. Um, but yeah, have fun with it. And this is a makeup look that me and Kristen were actually working together on an editorial recently. So this was a look I created for that, um, inspired by euphoria. And um, I hope you guys enjoy the look. So for the skin on this, I want it to have that really ethereal vibe. Obviously this is gonna be quite a statement eye look, but the first thing I'm gonna use is some Vintner's Daughter on Kristen's skin, just to give a really nice emollient feel, give it a bit of glow, um, and just give the skin that luminosity. I like to kind of just press this in. Now the thing with today's look as well, I feel like it's quite good for a lot of tips, especially if you like to do your base first and you wanna know products that aren't gonna spill down. Um, I think when you say the word glitter, the first thing you think of is, oh my goodness, it's gonna go everywhere, it's gonna be messy. Um, Lemonhead were one of the brands that worked a lot with the Euphoria makeup artists um, and they very kindly sent me some of their pieces actually. So I have one that I used in the editorial with Kristen and I'm actually obsessed with. So I'm taking a little bit of the Dior um, Forever Glow foundation. This is in 2.5. And this is quite um, a fuller coverage foundation. So because of the oil, I'm gonna need a very small amount. So I'm just using literally kind of like one dot on the brush and then making that kind of buff through the whole face, just focusing on the center. And again, the glow from that oil as well just gives a really, really lovely high sheen to the skin. And then I'm just taking what's left on the brush through the top part of the brow just to make sure that the eyelids have a little bit of kind of evenness to them. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna use is this um, Giorgio Armani eye tint. You guys know I'm obsessed with these. This one is the shade 25, which almost has like a deep blue teal, almost has like a shift in it. So it kind of looks like quite a smoky tone with the subtlest amount of color. Okay, so we're mm. just gonna start with this. And you guys know I love a liquid or cream product that sets down because you just get a bit of playtime, but I also think it really allows you to kind of go to town on getting your skin right first. Um, even if I'm doing my base first, I still like to do concealer after I've done eyeshadow, just because I feel like it helps you really shape the eye and sculpt anything you want to add shape to. So I'm just buffing this through the eye and you see it has this gorgeous kind of translucency to it that you can really build. But with the first layer, I just wanna make sure it almost gives that kind of like lived in rock and roll eye look. Concentrating now more on the lid now that I've built up. And you can go quite intense with these or really like a translucent wash. I'm just kind of going backwards and forwards with the wash. And again, you can see these kind of shadows, you get this intensity, you can really build, you've got kind of time to decide how intense you want it. But the best part is nothing spills down the skin. So it makes it really, really easy. I think it's very kind of fuss free and time efficient as well if you want to kind of change your makeup after work or something, just using this kind of layering technique and just buffing out. You've not got to worry about the skin. So just using a bit of brow cream again, you guys know I love the M Cosmetics one. Just to add a bit more definition and a little bit more texture to Kristen's brows. Okay, so then I'm gonna take a navy coal. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil in Rock and Coal. This is Marlene Midnight. So if you should put your head up a little bit for me, darling, and look right down. And we're just gonna do the tiggly inside the waterline, just to make sure the lashes look nice and black when we go to add what comes next. And I'm also gonna take a little bit of this in the lower waterline. And then just on a pencil brush, I'm taking a tiny bit more of the Armani. Just look up my dark. Just a little bit to smudge into that navy liner. So this is the uh, Lemonhead glitter I've chosen. Now there is an actual Euphoria pack that they made as well with like seven glitters, which I do have two and I love. But this for me is like jewelry for your eyes. Can we just take a moment to appreciate 
how gorgeous this is. Um, this one is the, I think this is the Space Jam and it did have the shade name on it. This is Paradise Cove. Um, now, I think what's really fun about this is obviously it's more kind of condensed in a gel so it's not going to fall down the skin um when we did the editorial i actually did this like a liner and then let Kristen kind of blink a bit so it kind of slowly started to move up the eyes and it almost had like the intensity of the lash line so you have to kind of keep your eyes shut for a little while just to keep most of it at the root of your eye if you have a more hooded eye then as soon as you blink you're going to have that kind of movement of the glitter really easily and it looks amazing so don't fear that i feel like that's part of the beauty of this is how the glitter moves. Um, if you have a more open eyelid, then you might be able to keep the glitter very concise. But for me, I like the kind of rock and rollness of how it moved a little bit. So um, I start with it on my hand like this, and then I'm using a synthetic brush. I'm just gonna turn you that way a little bit, Kristen, and keep close to me. And I just want it to be, this is a gross way to say it, but like a crust. <laughs> I wanna make like a glitter crust and when we did it for the editorial shoot, I just kept like moving it about. I didn't really um, make it to, I didn't want a perfect line. It was literally as if I was applying like crystals to Kristen's eye. And if there was any big bits of glitter that I kind of wanted to manipulate more, so you can see I've almost got like some higher than others. But the look this gives is so easy to achieve, but with like maximum payoff, which is why I love it. So I'm gonna turn you a little bit more that way, Kristen just like that and I'm literally just going all the way along the lash line so literally you're just sandwiching it into the lashes and just manipulating it I'm using a synthetic angle brush because I find the point actually kind of helps where you move the glitter close me for a little while Kristen because what I want is for most of the product to stay at the base of the lash and then just little kind of fragments of glitter look like they've kind of worked the way out the eye but it's so so pretty Okay, so mascara, I want some serious volume, but also not as much going on with the lash that it kind of takes away from the eye look. So I'm gonna use the Mascara Revolution by Makeup Revolution. This mascara is not messing about. <laughs> and look down for me. So I'm just gonna lift. And just really kind of taking it through. You can see it just gives it more of a spidery, black intense lash. Okay, so before I do any mascara to the bottom lashes, I'm gonna take the Kevin Aquan, uh, this is the concealer, the, I think it's called the Essential Skin Concealer. Which I'm gonna use number three. And we're gonna use this with a Real Technique setting brush. I'm not using loads. This is very, very full coverage. But we're gonna use it to like really brighten and kind of sculpt under the eyes now. So you see how I'm just kind of like lifting a little bit? It almost, you can use it as a way to like lift and sculpt. Okay, so same mascara. I'm just gonna take a little bit of excess off in a tissue for the bottom lashes. So look up for me, Kristen. And let's give some intensity to the bottom lashes as well. Okay, so I've decanted these into smaller bottles, but this is actually the NARS Liquid Blush. And this is the shade Luster, which I absolutely love. It is like the dreamiest peach. It's just so, so pretty when you don't want anything that's taking away too much from, you say, the gorgeous eyes going on. And I do quite like a sort of navy and peach vibe. So we're just gonna take a little bit of that into the cheeks, a little bit of shape. So you can always just take your original foundation brush as well with no product on, just scoop over and around. So there's no edges, just so everything blends in really seamlessly. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my Tom Ford lipstick palette, which you guys know to much much heartache i know people get very upset about me decanting expensive tom ford lipsticks down but needs must guys it makes the kit smaller and lighter um so i'm using a mix of blush nude and sable smoke and i'm going to take this over Kristen's lip and i'm not going to use a lip pencil today i'm just going to do it straight from the lip brush okay i'm just taking a little bit of sunny's face in milkshake and i'm just going to add that to the top this is what I tend to do a lot guys. I tend to kind of like custom mix colors. I kind of know the color I'm looking for. And then when I found it, I just kind of know. <laughs> but just I like doing lipstick with my fingers when I'm not using a lip pencil. I think it's kind of easier to go over the top lip line a little bit and just blend it in a very, very natural looking way. And then to finish, I'm just gonna take some Hourglass. This is the Veil Loose Powder. I like to tap a little bit of the excess off. And I'm just gonna take that kind of through 
the T zone. And I'm not gonna do any kind of liquid highlight or anything with this, because I feel like you get the glow anyway from using the liquid blush by NARS, and obviously because we put the kind of face oil underneath to hydrate. And also I think it kind of leaves the glitter being the statement focus. That's the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed that. I feel like this version is somewhat wearable. I'm sure that's obviously not gonna be true for everyone, but I think this is a really beautiful way to wear glitter. It's very grown up and sophisticated, but still my kind of little take on Euphoria inspired makeup. So um, don't forget to follow me at Harry Makes Up for more little live makeups and makeup stories as well. I'm always active over there. Um, don't forget to go follow Kristen and I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon for more.